What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean windshields in full sun. So if you're a mobile detailer, you know that cleaning glass and especially the windshield in full sun can be a nightmare. Now there's all sorts of products and tools and towels you can use, but let's try to keep things simple. I'm gonna show you guys just a few methods that you can use to tackle the dreaded windshield. Now this applies to all of the glass in the vehicle inside and out, including the rear glass, which can also be difficult, but let's focus on the windshield and you can apply what you see here to all of the glass, including the back glass. But let's focus on the windshield for now. When it comes to glass cleaning, you're gonna go through quite a few towels. And that's because all of the grime and junk that you are wiping off the glass and is accumulating in your towel, causing a ton of residue. Now I know there are lots of different videos on how you can super clean your windshield, you can use magic erasers, you can use all sorts of different things, and that's great. Go ahead and do that if that's working for you. Or if you already have a great method for cleaning glass, share it down below, or if you're not interested, then hit the skip button. But if you're a mobile detailer who deals with this problem, then stay tuned. So guys, let's go through a couple of the different towels that you can use. Now, again, I keep things simple. I try not to purchase all these different towels that are specialized for cleaning glass. I keep things simple. Now, what I usually do is purchase a bunch of cheaper microfibers. These cheap little 14 by 14 towels, these you can get almost anywhere, at your local Walmart or automotive store. They're cheap, they're thin, and I kind of consider them disposable. Now that doesn't mean that I'm gonna throw them away after I clean each windshield or all of the glass. I mean, I don't use them on anything else except for glass, and if they get grungy or start to leave lint or it's not absorbing the grime and cleaning the glass as well as I want, I chuck them. But these little cheap towels can actually be really, really good for glass cleaning, especially when they're brand new. Or if you wanna go a little bit fancier, then you can get a premium glass cleaning towel. You can get these nice waffle weave towels here, many different brands. This one happens to be Microfiber Madness. And this towel is actually really well designed. I like how it has the rounded corners here and the nice soft piping edge around the corner. So waffle weaves are also very good for cleaning glass. The texture in them makes them great for scrubbing and cleaning the glass, as well as drying the glass really well because it absorbs liquids. Now I also have another towel from Microfiber Madness. This is their ultra soft polishing towel. Now this towel is actually a very low nap, thin microfiber towel, but it is very, very soft. It has no edge on it, so it's an edgeless towel, 16 by 16. Now this can be considered an all-purpose towel. You can use it for anything, inside and outside of the vehicle. It's designated as a polishing towel, and sometimes those low nap towels can be really good for removing waxes, sealants, or even coatings. But again, if you're dealing with delicate paint, tread carefully with some lower nap towels. You might need to step it up to something a little bit more plushy. So using a combination of all these towels can really help you clean your glass. Now, what about chemicals? Well, you can use a simple glass cleaner. I have used the Meguiar's glass cleaner for a long time. I also have other special mixtures that I use and sometimes just using isopropyl alcohol, like in here, I designated it IPA panel wipe. This is basically a 50-50 mixture with isopropyl alcohol. It's really strong. You can use it as a panel wipe or as a glass cleaner. And this IPA panel wipe can also be used to remove some sticky residue like from the inspection stickers on the inside of your windshield. So I kind of use this as a last case scenario type of cleaner. So use whatever glass cleaner that you're currently using that you enjoy, or if you want to switch it up, try the Meguiar's glass cleaner or a simple IPA mixture. You can make your own glass cleaner if you want, but the chemicals are not as important as the technique. So let's show you what we mean. As a mobile detailer, cleaning glass and especially the windshield in hot and humid temperatures is a challenge to say the least. So hopefully these tips can help anyone who's having difficulty with windshield cleaning. The inside of your windshield will accumulate a film from either the dash outgassing or sometimes just moisture that builds up and dirt and grime attaches itself, building up a greasy looking film. This is where the challenge lies, removing that film completely and leaving a streak-free surface. Start by starting the vehicle and blasting that AC. This will cool things down and make things not only more comfortable, but allow the glass cleaner or damp towel not to evaporate so quickly, making things more difficult to wipe down. So for really dirty windshields, let's start with a damp towel and mist a little glass cleaner of your choosing to wipe the inside of the windshield. As you see, I'm using the back of my hand to easily reach across the dash and cover the entire driver's side. 
Again, this technique works well for me since I have longer arms, but you may have to use a glass cleaning tool as well. You can already see a huge difference from the driver's side to the passenger side glass. Make sure to work carefully around the rear view mirror and speed pass tags that may be on the windshield. After using the damp towel, I quickly switch to a dry towel and buff away any residual moisture quickly. You should be left with a streak-free section of glass. If not, repeat the process and make sure not to reuse a side of the towel that you used previously so that there's no cross-contamination. The exterior of the windshield is much easier to clean since you have easy access to the glass on the outside. Remember though that those lines are caused by the wipers scratching the exterior of the windshield. It's not streaks, but scratches. All right guys, so hopefully that will help you out. So again, like I mentioned in the video, sometimes just using a damp towel with just water can really clean up that grime. And you may not even need to use any other chemical. Use the damp towel to mop up all that grime and use a clean, dry one to polish it away. And your glass will be nice and crystal clear. Now, if that's not quite working for you, try different methods. There's no just one method for cleaning glass, especially on the interior. There's lots of different variables that go into it. You may not even know what's on the inside of your glass. So try all of these different techniques until you find one that works for you. So guys, I hope that helps you out. If you have any tips for cleaning the interior of your glass, then leave those tips down below and let me know what works for you. Now, one more tip for cleaning the exterior of your windshield and any of your glass. Use products that have some hydrophobic effects to it. You can use spray waxes and sealants right on your windshield. Now, true, it may leave a little bit of a residue, but don't worry, use a damp towel with no chemical, wipe it down, and then dry it. It's going to take care of any residue while still leaving the protection behind. Many of these products are designed to do that. And you'll find that your water will bead on your windshield for quite a few weeks. And when it stops beading, just reapply it because it's so easy. And another cool tip that just works for me, just because maybe I have longer arms and it's a technique that I kind of, oh. Now you may have noticed another technique that I use for cleaning the inside of the glass. And it's one that I've kind of developed for myself and it works for me. Instead of trying to bend your arm like this to clean the inside of the windshield, I simply use the back of my hand. The towel stays on here just fine and I can actually grab the towel with my thumb so that it doesn't move. Or I can also grab it with my pinky and I'm using my three fingers here to clean the glass because sometimes you can get in weird awkward positions cleaning the windshield or cleaning the back glass. I found that this helps. So again, I just use the back of my hand and I will grab it with my thumb like so and clean the glass. That way I can actually use my fingers here to get into all of those tight areas. So that works for me. And because of my long arms, I can get into all of those tight areas in the windshield and in the back glass with, well, moderate effort. But that technique works well for me. So let me know if that works for you or how do you get into all those tight, awkward areas? Can you get everything by hand or do you use a tool like this? These are pretty cheap. You can find them almost anywhere. And I do use these in a pinch. However, I do not use the microfiber that's on here to clean. I use it to grip my glass cleaning towel like so. It will stay on there for the most part while you get into all those tight areas. So it works really well. So guys, I hope those tips were helpful. Let me know if they work for you. So guys, if you wanna pick up some of these towels and products, head over to Car Supplies Warehouse. You can purchase all that stuff there. They have the full line of microfiber madness towels and microfiber products as well. And their glass cleaning towel and ultra soft polishing towel work really well for cleaning glass. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share with others who may enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So thank you for watching. Have a safe week. We'll see you next time.